Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In the previous video, we just write the code for this change security question part of my online shopping project. If you are not seen that video, just go to the description and check out the link. In this video, we are going to write the code for this change mobile number. So let us start with that. Uh, we have to move to the ID and here we already have a change mobile number teach change mobile number dot jspp. So first thing is we just need to copy this full line of the code and paste it in this uh, page mobile number dot jsp page and we also need to connect this page with our uh, change details header dot jsp page so here we just need to write change mobile number dot jsp page okay after that let's refresh this and let's move to the change mobile number okay here you can see you are able to see few details now again move uh, to the change mobile number and now we have to write uh, and one more thing we just need to change the title every in every page okay change mobile number and now we have to write here uh, condition string msg equals to request dot get parameter and here we just need to write msg uh, msg okay after that uh, here we just need to write if done dot equals and here we just need to write msg and bracket start after that uh, here we just need to close this bracket and copy this uh, line of the code and paste it here and remove this line and here we just need to write wrong okay so after that we also need to close this bracket so just close this and here we just need to create the form so first we need to in, uh, write here form tag and we also need to close this so just copy this and paste it here after that we have to write here the action is equals to doubles okay after that a method equals to post and we also need to create a page for that so right click on this bib content section go to this and click on jsp change change mobile number action just copy this and click on finish okay after that page has been created just read this page uh, all details from that page and just paste it here and dot uh, gsp page now now here we have to create two input fields so input and the type is equals to for the mobile number we are going to take it as number and uh, name is equals to mobile number okay uh, it should be in doubles okay this and after that uh, we just need to write place holder is equals to in okay here we just need to write enter your new mobile number okay after that here we just need to write required and one more thing uh, we just need to add a class for the CSS so class is equals to and here we just need to write input style and we just need to copy this line of the code and paste it in the secure in password part okay and here we just need to change to the type should be password and name should be also password okay password and here we also need to change in the placeholder so here we have to write enter password and here we just need to write for for security okay after that we have to uh, in, here insert a button so button and just copy the closing tag after this uh, okay after that here we have to write use class equals to button okay after that we have to use type equals to submit and here we just need to write save save and put some space okay 
after that let's refresh this page and here you can see you are able to see the form here and uh, i think everything is working fine okay now let's uh, move to the id again and here we just need to copy these two lines first and uh, just paste it here after that uh, we have to start that tag again okay and in this we just need to receive uh, email so we are getting that value from the session dot get uh, attribute and here we just need to write email dot to string and after that a string mobile number is equals to request request dot uh, get parameter get parameter this one and here we just need to write mobile number okay after that the string password equals to request okay request request dot get parameter and here we just need to write password okay after that here we just need to create a variable in check is equals to zero after that try catch block catch block and in this we just need to write exception okay and uh, okay we are getting here we forget to write e x sorry and here we just need to write system dot out dot uh, print ln and here we just need to write e okay after that uh, here uh, we have to write connection connection con equals to connection provider dot get con okay after that we have to create a statement statement st equals to con dot uh, create statement and after that we have to use result set result set rs equals to st dot execute query and in between we have to write select a star from users uh, where email is equals to single and uh, okay and double plus plus email where and password is equals to double plus and here we just need to write password okay and at the end we have to insert the semicolon and here we just need to write while rs dot next okay after that we have to start the brackets and here check is equals to one and here we have to write st dot execute cute update and here we just need to write update users uh, set mobile number is equals to single okay and double plus plus uh, here we just need to write mobile number and uh, where email is equals to in single double plus plus email okay and at the end we also need to insert semicolon after that we have to say uh, see the response send the response dot send redirect and here we just need to write the page on which we have to send the response so change mobile number dot gsp question mark msg is equals to done and uh, just need uh, here view one more condition if check is equals equals to zero then we will send uh, the response with wrong message it means that our password is wrong okay now let's open the database and first check out the our mobile number so here we our mobile number is one two three four five six seven eight nine one so now we are going to set the mobile number at uh, last we are going to set to zero so let's start with that let's refresh this page and uh, uh, our password is uh, 123 yeah so 1234567890 and here i'm just writing the password 123 and let's click on save and your mobile number is successfully changed let's uh, try with something different 123 123 and 1 after that 12 i'm just writing the password only 12 
let's click on save your password is wrong so it's uh, the change mobile number part is working fine so this is all about change mobile number i hope you guys like this video so please hit like and subscribe my channel thank you